hello youtube hello everyone welcome to another cool time with blacks and today we'll be um, looking at auditing again we'll be auditing um, aws cloud environment using um scouts and that um let me quickly go uh, we're seeing how we can configure um guard duty to do some cool stuff for us so first thing we'll do activate uh, and configure guard duty then we'll also configure scout suits for um, on a remote host uh First, we'll create an IAM account before, so we can hook that up to um, um, our terminal. We can now uh, run this tool from there, uh, audit the entire environment, print out the results, and do some analysis, and maybe make some amends to some bad configuration, which we'll see as we run this tool. Uh, to follow suit, you'll need an AWS uh, account with resources. I'm using mine specific. Then also, you need to install Scout Suits from the PIP library or from the GitHub repo. I'm going to quickly stop this thing and um, we get right into business. So great. If you're wondering what Gravity is, uh, um, it's that one pane of glass that gives you visibility. It's more like a same solution. So it collects logs from all these different resources and presents that to you in a one pane of glass where you can quickly map your risk and um, maybe treat certain things that are of concern or that violates your security policies uh, in your environment. So let's um, start with, I think we're going to start with creating the IAM first. So I'm going to go over here, just type IAM here. You can find IAM, you quickly click on it. Um, then it should uh, take you to this page that I'm on. If you, I've already got my root account and a couple of other things. So I'm going to create a new user. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to call this user OD, um, Auditor M. And that sounds like a good name. Oh, no, my, my bad. I should add user first. Um, click add user. Then um, just going to. My network is a bit slow, but well, let's hope it's okay. Great. Let's call this user auditor M. Um, alpha numeric. Mm, okay. I'm not supposed to put the space there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to, going to access uh, use access key for programmatic access. Now, if you're wondering what that is, uh, basically you won't have. A, I don't want to do a password thing. I just want to have this access key and the uh, um, secret key, so I can put that into my um, environment variable in my terminal and use that to run the scout tool. I will need a password because I won't be able. To, I don't want to log into the uh, management console. So I'm going to click next. You know, group or best practice. You want to create a group, put your users in group, and attach policies to those group. So, but I'm just going to ignore that and um, over here attach existing policy to my user. Um, I think read only access should be the first one that I'm going to attach to this user. So I'll look for read only access, which should be pretty much uh, okay and enough sufficient for this user to carry out their auditor's job role. So let's look for that and apply that quickly. Then the second policy will be security audits. Security audits. Um, and I think those two policies are pretty okay. We'll go ahead and um, I won't add a key, um, no tag for, for this specific user. Um, but best practice, you want to tag users so you can uh, easily keep track. Uh, when you go over to guard um, DC. So we can see right here that we have the read-only access and security audits as the two policies that we are granting, uh, enforcing on this uh, auditor user. So more like it's going to help me manage user rights, what the user can do. Okay, great. So as usual, list privilege uh, um, is always a good practice. So we have the access key ID. Well, I wouldn't mind showing you this because obviously I'm going to delete this user and all the keys once I'm done with this account. So um, over here, once we're done with this, uh, quickly let me go to Gardity and then show you. To configure Gardity, you just need to search for Gardity. I'm using the 30 days free trial uh, because I don't have a paid subscription for it. But uh, uh, you can use that at least just to monitor events and activity. Once I start running scans uh, from uh, um, the scout, you will see stuff start populating here. So once you search for guard duty, you'll find guard duty, you select it basically, and then you have a page to activate it. 
then we can see quickly we can uh verify its usage just look around show a few things and we can see currently i'm only going to be uh cloud trail vpc flow log dns logs s3 events and kubernetes because i'm actually running within the free tier but there are other functionalities you can actually add into this remember guard UT is more like that's your sim solution in aws it pulls from everything and presents that to you in that one pane of glass so uh list i can actually assign trusted ips that i want only then i can also do the threat list more like a blacklist uh, um, so i can keep watch on those specific ips if they are trying to attempting to connect to my resources or maybe one hacker somewhere is trying to do something i can also restrict this using the whole geolocation thing as well then also s3 protection we can look into that we can see uh, that this is enabled Kubernetes as well. We can also enable account protection. So we want to look at these specific IAMs and what they are doing. So basically we can assign that or add accounts over here. But I think that's all I want to showcase here. Uh, once we start running this, we will go view um, our dashboard to see if we have any findings. Uh, then we'll come over here, we'll see. Currently I can see there's one finding, the policy that was just created. And we can see um, the resources routes. Obviously, this is going to keep populating as it goes on. The, I can quickly review this to see. Um, it gives me the IP address where it's coming from. Well, this is my uh, um, ISP IP address. If you try to hack it, it's your business. <laughs> then um, it gives me details of what is happening. Uh, um, pretty much cool stuff. You can see the remote IP, the actor, remote IP, the action that was carried out. And now I was using root accounts to do all this stuff. Obviously, it gives me the location. I'm currently in Mozambique, Maputo. I uh, just want to show you this stuff so you can understand the much details you can grab from having guard DT running in your environment. Very pretty cool stuff. So we're done with this. Now we're at the stage where we're going to go configure um, scouts, and um, we use the uh, keys which we have right. Uh, where is the IM? Okay, I am over here to configure that. Great. So over here to pull it down in the pip library, you just need to run the command. Uh, I think um, I have that command. Yeah, pip install scout suits. Just run this. Uh, sudo whatever account you have is pretty fine as long as you're adding the um, keys to that account. You're okay. So over here, I have run this. If I run it again just to show you, it's going to try to pull from the pip library. Uh, not right oh yeah wrong spelling um, okay so i have actually done this before so you see it's just going to pull 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 and tell me already satisfied and already satisfied and then i'm good to go great so next i'm going to uh clear the screen aws uh i'm going to get into my configuration and uh, attach those keys so we can quickly start doing some cool stuff here okay so i'm going to run that uh aws configure command here um not sure what happened seemed to be an issue let me quickly fix this and come back okay so i had um, some challenge configuring in my ubuntu environment quickly um, went over to my vps in uh, digital ocean and i'll be think i'll be showcasing this from here so to, to configure all this i'm just going to run the command aws um, configure okay that should be good to go the access key id we can fetch from here which is this just going to copy that and paste that over here then the secret key or secret access key i'll show this and copy this and um, i'm going to also paste that here okay then the default region we're going to put that here, US uh, is one. I think that's pretty okay. Then default output formats, uh, well, we'll leave that. Okay, so to run this, we just need to pass the command scout AWS. And I think and that's sufficient enough to start scouts. So you see it's fetching resources, uh, attempting to uh, verify the credentials, then starts the scans specific we're looking at s3 service uh ses uh 
SQS and VPC, IAM and all that stuff, CloudTrail. It's checking everything up. Um, this should complete. Give us a result which we're going to analyze together. I think a HTML file is going to save that else. But this is what the result looks like. Um, let's quickly analyze this result and see where we have uh, pitfalls. Um, pretty much cool dashboard. Uh, we can see some analytics going on there. Uh, EMR config. Just check a few things around this. We can see compute, uh, probably checking out each of the specific results as well as the summary but quickly let's analyze this uh under this i have nothing going on here for me so i don't have a problem yeah uh quickly i'm gonna go back then i can see there is a right here uh the legend clearly spells itself out so we know there is a problem somewhere here so i have not configured cloud trail uh which obviously yes i haven't like i told you um, i'm building this so i can walk you guys through step by step so cloud trail is still pending which means i do not have something that probably looks at each of the resources and probably get details from what is happening or who is accessing or what are they doing kind of like uh, which is not a good security practice i see there's a um this is this orange or whatever um so aws config not enabled as well uh pretty much you want to quickly go fix that you will see if you go into it gives you the region well i do not have all this region running for me so i don't care uh, but i'll look for the region that i have specific running for me and i'll quickly go fix that which will be for my um, us east one uh, so i can go fix this up so i can actually have something going on there for me then um, let's analyze a few more let's see before i switch i am great we can see there are 13 of them the resources on that EC2, I don't have anything. I guess this 17 would be from maybe the VPC, I suspect. <laughs> okay, uh, the security group, obviously, yes, I suspect. <laughs> yeah, so great. We can see not uh, empty rule sets for default security. Obviously, yeah, I, I can go change all of them in all the groups. This is my personal account. Well, but best practice, um, if this was for a company, I will ensure I probably look at this if it's a risk that's been flagged. If it's not, I can move on. Then uh, I am, I can see on the I am, I've got 13 with these unique ones that are actually pointing really red. Password expiration not enabled. I just created the I am. I didn't enable password expiration. I didn't set any password configuration uh, 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 um, security to help me manage, not even an MFA. So it points that all out for me immediately. I can check also i used a, a short password so it's, it's telling me the password length does not meet the requirements i want to go fix that as well then i can see the expiration i can see the policy i can see the expiration days uh, 90 that's pretty for me that's not a bad thing anyways then the root account used recently obviously i've got to use my root accounts root account without mfa that's not true I've got MFA, <laughs> I guess I know what it's looking for. So this I can flag as a false positive. I'm going to just get out of there. Uh, let's go check out a few more. Um, yeah, Route 53. Pretty interesting. The mid transfer not locked. Okay, well, we will go fix this immediately. So we don't end, end up finding someone still in our domain <laughs> and getting us out of our web application. Okay, cool. So... Uh, what else do we have there s3 well i expect this as well get action authorized to all principles i'm pretty much okay with this as it is because um i i don't think i have a problem with this uh, um as long as they can view i'm hosting the web application obviously i want people to be able to view the content in the buckets uh, a better way will be to use a cloud front which i haven't done yet i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well uh, so we can probably hide this behind CloudFront. But for now, I'm pretty okay with them having reach and lists. Well, they are not able to upload. I will take out lists. Uh, well, I'll take out lists. I don't want them having lists. Okay. Then I can review the roles with the IM and see how I can probably better manage that. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, much better than the other two which I had showcased earlier. Uh, then I can get out of this as well. Uh, look at my time okay 
Then um, I think the VPC, I was expecting that also to flag for me. Obviously, all the uh, network, network access control lists uh, for all the default region, it will, it will flag all that as one for me, but I, I don't care. I'm only going to fix that for the US East one that I'm currently have having resources on. So, but, um, well, uh, cool. As you can see, this simplifies audits. Um, um, any auditor out there or IT security auditor, can just grab this to run on a cloud infrastructure. Uh, please do note that you may get a couple of false positives. That's when you need to now validate what you're seeing, if it matches with what is in the description as passed on to you before the audit. Okay, uh, well, um, I think I'm going to shut this video here. Been able to showcase how to, again, audit your cloud infrastructure, find misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, and quickly go get them fixed. In my environment specific, at least I know one or two things that I need to fix quickly to keep me safe um, whilst I'm still hosting my uh, basic web application in this uh, AWS account. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope you love the content. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next recording. We may be doing CloudFront, CloudFormation, even GuardDuty, and all those cool stuff. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.